Hello Year 4 and welcome to our World Book Day Quiz. Now for our quiz today we've got three rounds. The first round is all about math and World Book Day linked questions. Round two is all about books and round three is a guess who round. Now for our quiz all you need is a pen and paper and it can just be a scrap piece of paper. So pause the video now to find anything that you need and then click play when you're ready to get started. So let's begin with round one, which is all about World Book Day math related questions. So here comes question number one. It's all about the Secret Seven and those books there. And you've got a picture of the characters of the Secret Seven there. Your question is, if the Secret Seven all went to buy new school shoes together, how many school shoes would they need? So you've got seven children there and they need two shoes. So seven lots of two. So you can write your answer down now. With any of our questions here for, if you need any extra time, just pause the video and when you think you're ready to carry on, click play. So question one, seven lots of two. You can either write this as individual shoes or pairs of shoes, completely up to you. Right, let's move on to question number two. Let's see what this question says. Miss Margette and Mr. Tamlin are both reading books. Miss Margette's book has 350 pages inside. Mr. Tamlin's book has 225 pages inside. How many pages will they read all together? Remember year four, all together means add. So you might want to pause the video to use the column method, 350 add 225, what is the total? Okay, let's move on to question number three now. It's all about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It says, if Willy Wonka makes five bars of chocolate in a day, how many bars would he make in A, a week, and B, in two weeks? So think, there are seven days in one week. So for part A, what's five lots of seven, or seven lots of five? And then for B, you can just take your first answer and double it, or add it to itself, whatever you think. Okay, let's move on to question number four. This is about Little Red Riding Hood. Now, Little Red Riding Hood bakes 60 cupcakes. The wolf steals half of them. How many are left for Little Red to share with her grandma? So this question here for what is half of 60? That will tell you how many's left for Little Red Riding Hood. Moving on to question number five, which is all about the magic faraway tree. Now, the tree in the magic faraway tree book grows an average of eight centimeters a day. How many centimeters does it grow in 12 days? So what's 12 lots of eight or eight lots of 12? That's your answer for this question. Okay, let's go on to question number six now. This is all about Rapunzel and her hair. If Rapunzel's hair was 23 meters long and the witch chopped off 50 meters, how much is left? So 23 meters, take away 15 meters is how many meters left? That's your answer for question number six. Okay, let's go on to question number seven now. This is about Matilda, so Roald Dahl's book, and in particular the character Bruce Bogtrotter. He was the one that ate that really, really massive chocolate cake. So it says the school cook used 500 grams of chocolate to make a cake for Bruce Bogtrotter. She used three times as much butter. How many grams of butter did she use? So you can either think what's 500 times three, or you could do 500 at 500 at 500. They give you the same answer. See if you can work out how many grams of butter and then write it on your piece of paper.
Okay, we're going to go on to our final question for this round, and it's question number eight. It's all about George's Marvelous Medicine, and we've got a recipe card here. It says 100 grams of golden syrup, 200 grams of shampoo, 500 grams of hot chili sauce, and then 50 grams of wax polish. Your question is, how much is there all together? Remember, all together means add them all up. So what's 100, add 200, add 500, add 50. Remember, pause your video if you need some extra time and write your answers down. Okay, year four, that is the end of round one. We're going to move on to round two, which is all about books. So let's see our first question in round two. Question number nine says, who wrote the book, The Gruffalo? And you've got three options here. You've got A, David Williams, B, Julia Donaldson, or C, Roald Dahl. Can you write down now what your answer, what you think, who was the person that wrote the book, The Gruffalo? Okay, let's go on to question number 10 now. This is all about Paddington. What country does Paddington Bear originally come from? Did he originally come from A, Chile, B, Peru, or C, Brazil? One of those options there is correct. Write it down if you can. Okay, let's go on to question number 11. This is about Postman Pat and his cat. So what color is Postman Pat's cat? Is he A, black, B, black and white, or C, gray? So think about Postman Pat and his cat. Which color is it? Write down your answer now. Okay, question number 12. This is all about the Jungle Book. So what is the name of the tiger in the Jungle Book? Is it A, Shere Khan, B, Baloo, or C, Bakira? Which one of those is the name of the tiger? Now, the Jungle Book, there was an old version that Disney made, but there's also like a new, almost like real life version that they've made recently. Think back, do you know the name of the tiger? And we've got a final question in this round, which is all about the Mr. Men series. It says, what shape is Mr. Strong in the Mr. Men series? Is Mr. Strong a circle? Is he a triangle? Or is he a square? So Mr. Strong, which shape is he? So that is the end of round two. We're going to move on to our final round, which is round three. It's guess who? I'm going to show you some pictures and I'd like you to have a guess at who you think they are. Let's see our pictures now. So this is our final question, question 14. It's who are these authors? So these are all people who've written books. They're really famous. But do you know any of them? So we've got the first picture of the man, the lady in the middle, and then the man on the far right there. Can you write down any of their names if you know them? Okay, pause the video if you need some more time because I'm going to go through the answers now. Okay, let's see our answers back to round one. Here come your math answers. So remember, the first question was, if the Secret Seven all went to buy new school shoes, how many would they need? Well, there's seven of them and they need two shoes each. So it's seven times two. You can either write 14 individual shoes or seven pairs. They're both right. Give yourself a tick if you've got that one there. Now, let's go on to question number two. This was about my book and Miss Margette's book. Well, if you add 350, add 225, you get 575 pages all together. Give yourself a tick if you've got that one there, correct. Now, let's see question three. This is about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 
If he makes five bars per day, well, in a week, that would be five times seven, which is 35. Give yourself a tick for that one there. And then in two weeks, you could either just take 35 and double it, or do 35 and another 35. That gives you 70 bars. Give yourself a tick for 70 there. Okay, let's go on to question number four now. This is about Little Red Riding Hood, and we needed to take 60 and split it into half. Half of 60 is 30. 30 cupcakes are left. Give yourself a tick if you've got that one there. Question five is about the magic faraway tree. We needed to work out what eight times 12 is, or 12 times eight, and that gives you 96. 96 centimeters it grows. Give yourself a tick for that one there. Question number six, Rapunzel. Well, we had 23 and we're taking away 15. Our answer is eight. Eight meters of hair left. And then our answer to question seven, this is all about Matilda and Bruce Bob Trotter. He had 500 grams of Trotter and we need three times as much. Well, 500 times three is 1,500. Remember, you could have done 500 at 500 at 500. Give yourself a tick for that one. And then finally, question number eight, George's Marvelous Medicine. Well, if you added all of those four numbers up, your total is 850 grams. Give yourself a tick for that one there. So that was our maths round done. Our second round was all about books. So let's go through our answers for this question here. Who wrote the book, The Gruffalo? Well done if you knew. It was Julia Donaldson. So option B there. Let's go on to question number 10. What country does Paddington Bear originally come from? This is a tricky one. Well, he originally actually came from Peru, which is option B. Give yourself a tick for that one there. Question number 11, what color is Postman Pat's cat? Well, it's even in the actual song title. He's a black and white cat. Give yourself a tick for that one there. Number 12, the name of the tiger. It was the very first option at Shere Khan. Well done if you got that one. And then finally, what shape is Mr. Strong? He is a square. And I think he's this one right here in the picture. He's a square. Okay, and then we had our final round. Guess who these three authors were? The first one then, well done if you've got it as Roald Dahl. He's wrote many, many books then. We've got loads in our school, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to Fantastic Mr. Fox, loads of them. The second lady here then is J.K. Rowling, really famous for all of the Harry Potter books there. And then finally, we've got David Walliams from Demon Dentist, to Gangster Granny, lots of different books. So well done year four for completing our World Book Day quiz. I hope you enjoyed it.